Hey everybody, it's Patrick from Patmates Mini and today we're gonna try to paint a lemon dress in five hours. So in the box we're gonna find some decals and we're gonna find two sprues and the manual how to build it. Nothing too fancy here, but just the basics. I had some question about how and what tools I was using. So I'm just gonna show you how I build models. So I'm using some clippers, I'm using a hobby knife, a file, this is for, for plastic. I don't like to use metal file for plastic. Some plastic cement, some super glue, and some magnets if you want to magnetize your weapons. Once you're there, you're just gonna cut the piece you need, like so with the sharp side against the plastic. Once it's off, we're gonna take away the leftover of the sprue with the hobby knife. We're gonna file it down with the different steps already indicated on the file, because it's quite handy to use those ones. And that's it. Once the pieces are clean, just follow the instruction, take some plastic cement and glue them together. It's quite straightforward. magnetize all the weapons, I'm going to use some easy techniques as well. I'm just going to use the same size drill bit as the magnets I own. Once I find a good size, I'm going to put a little mark with the hobby knife to be sure that the hole is centered. Once I'm sure that the hole is centered, I'm going to make the hole big enough for the magnet and just gonna put it in.
To be sure that the magnet's gonna fit on the other side, I'm just going to put some paint on the side we already have the magnet on and slide it in. You see, you have a perfect mark where to drill with your drill bit again. Once this is done, it's quite easy, as the hole is perfectly aligned and centered, we're just gonna put it directly in by pressing it from the good side and there you are! We're going to start the painting process simply with uh, an undercoat of green. This is NATO green from Vallejo Color. For the tracks, I just leave them on the sprue for now. I'm just gonna undercoat them with a black primer. Once it's dry, we're going to put some metallic on it. So black is a really good base for metallic colors. To make the camo effect, we're gonna use some blue tack, as you can see here. I'm just gonna cover the part I want to stay green. So I just make a line from one side to the, from the tank to the other and call it a day. Once you have all the line you want, just cover the rest with Andre dust and you're gonna get your camo effect. Once it's dry, you're gonna have the most satisfying part and it's just removing the blue tack. You're gonna see the nice green line appear again. If it's a bit fuzzy on the side, not a big deal, we're just gonna correct it like so with some green primer and we're gonna do the same with the Zandri dust. So the next step we're going to do is a simple oil wash. So we're gonna mix some mineral spirit with some brown and some black oil paints. And we're going to try the good consistencies to, to make a wash out of it.
Once you're happy with your wash, just put it in the recesses and you're gonna see it goes by itself exactly where you want to go. It's a really satisfying part too. And this is the nice part about doing vehicles. It's just really simple and really satisfying. We're gonna end the painting with some dry brush. So here we're going to do some light green on the green parts and we're gonna take the Zandri dust to do on the Zandri dust parts. So now we just have to put the tracks with some super glue and then we're gonna do some pigments. So first we're gonna do some dry ones and then we're gonna mix it up with some caparol and some water just so it holds better on the model. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll leave you with the result. See you next week.